The VPN client app allows your ControlX core to connect to a virtual private network server. It provides a secure encrypted connection, allowing for remote maintenance or data streaming. With a connection to a VPN server, users can connect directly to the ControlX core and any local network that the ControlX core is connected to, such as a local machine network. This allows a secure connection, not only to the core, but also any device connected to the core. The VPN client app supports both IPsec and OpenVPN connections and configurations. In this video, we'll show you how to connect to a free VPN server service from OpenVPN. We'll not explore all the features in this video and you'll want to dig deeper to ensure the correct setup for your application. But this short setup will allow you to see how easy it is to configure remote network security for your Control X4. Okay, to set up our VPN, we're going to use something called the OpenVPN. And we're going to start that up by going to the website openvpn.net. I mean, setting up your OpenVPN account is sort of beyond the scope of this demonstration, so it assumes that you already have the OpenVPN client installed and you have an OpenVPN account. Um, so the first thing you want to do is come over and sign in to the OpenVPN cloud. So off screen here I have my credentials. And you can see that it takes me to the admin portal. Um, the interesting thing here is the users. What I want to do is add um, a Control X device and also I wanted to add a device for the laptop that I'll be working on. The first thing I'll add is the device, the Control X. I'll say this is the Remote Control X. And then I'll add a device called laptop. This is my local laptop. And you'll notice that these are in a in a group here called default. Um, one thing you want to make sure with your group, and this is tab up here, is that the connection um, authentication is set to no. So there's an option here, and you can change it with the little pencil on the right. So you can say what kind of authentication is required, and you just want to turn that off. And that's for the Edge device that does not require authentication every time. Back to the users. I'm going to download the profile for the Control X. It's going to ask you to go to the locus, uh, closest locality. And I'm going to do that for both the Control X and for the laptop. So now I can go to the Control X core and my password. Um, and now I can go to the VPN app. So I can add a VPN connection here, but what I want to do here is upload a VPN connection. So now I can go to my downloads folder and get the Control X configuration file, ask me the VPN type, I want to say it's OpenVPN, select OK, and now I want to select Auto Connect, and I want to hit the play button. Now you notice on the core here, the bottom core is, is connected to the, the outside world, so this thing is connected, and this is the port that it's going through to establish its VPN connection. If I go look at the system settings, and the connectivity, you can see there's now three connections. This third connection is my VPN. If I look at Ethernet 1, the details here, you can see that this is, this is set up for um, dynamic IP address. This is getting assigned um, as opposed to Ethernet 0, which is, which is a static IP address. Um, now, in order for me to connect to the controller, I can open up my OpenVPN client. I can upload the configuration file that I just downloaded and connect after import okay so now I'm connected I go back to the 
admin portal, I can see the IP address that will be assigned to the control X. So now I can copy this IP address, paste that into my browser. And it says my connection is private. It's not private, I'm sorry. Proceed. So now I've established a remote connection to the Control X core.